I want you to experience. Wow, hi. Hi. Hi, hello. Hey, I'm Bradin and I'm Taiwan FAE. I just to introduce some of, of our very fancy demo in computers. What? Yeah. What do we see here? What do we oh, hear? Yeah, this one is very cool that we can have some text and we change that to sound directly. It's the new technology that we co work with the stability AI. That's very This is new totally things. offline. Yeah, totally And it offline. generates sound based on prompts. Yeah, you can find here. We're just in airplane mode. So everything is just compute on the edge. Can we try, uh, like, there's an elephant in a circus oh, yeah. and a bunch of people playing the trumpet. Oh, yeah, for sure. So maybe you just type. Elephant so we just use something elephant? Yeah. Okay, yeah. we just take an elephant. So you can write whatever you want, and it's going to just generate the sound. Okay, that's a song about an elephant, maybe. But it depends. <laughs> so so yeah. what is a, a Clyde? Yeah, Clyde AI yeah, is a new technology from on. This one is our microkernels that we can just to speed up everything that to use the optimized performance for our CPU. So it's a kernel. Uh, it's a microkernel. It's like Linux, but and it's like for AI or for what? Yeah, it's for AI. You can see that we combine a lot of things, especially for the uh, calculation, for the vector and matrix in our microkernel. So everything is like uh, we use a lot of different on architectures. So that we have the on 8.2, 8.7, or maybe on B9. And we use Clyde AI. We can just to optimize, to use everything, the hardware you have. So that's the, I think, the most important things for us in the future, especially for AI. Because you talk about the ARM V9, yes, and it's deployed in the newest chips, and how, for example, ARM V9 is accelerating AI or Clyde, how is it better on the V9? Oh yeah, in Amina we have some new technology, especially like we have the SBE2. SBE2 is the scape for better extension. We can have the different lens for the better and just to use that for the matrix calculation. And we have something new one for SNE. That's a very new technology. We can try to have the matrix uh, outfit for, for this one and all the things that we have now. It's very, can okay, speed up for all the calculations for metrics. So on the presentation here, yeah. I see many different logos of different projects. Yeah. It looks like there is uh, something to do with the video acceleration, something to do with the llama. Yeah. Like a llama, for example, AI model, open source. Right. Was it open source? And yeah. You can wait. Uh, oh, I think we can see this second yeah. demo. Now you can find this one. Right now we can support a lot of the new LLM models, and we can also support for multi models AI. No deep seek. Ah, actually, I'm just we joking. can support deep joking. seek. Yeah, yeah, but, it's but not we don't here. have that in this yeah. demo. But, but we can support. Quen, MediaTek, uh, that's the chipset. Uh, that's the chipset. Llama, uh, Llama and Whisper. Whisper. This one is for sound, so you can find this so one. The sound is Whisper. Is yeah. it? Whisper means offline on device. Uh, Whisper is a smaller LOL and some model. So this one can support here. And uh, other things that I think everyone should know that Lama Lama is very famous LOL and, and Queen this one is from China. Yeah. Nice. So multi model AI yeah. runs an ARM CPU yeah. with the Clyde libraries. Yeah. You integrate with the leading AI frameworks. Yes. Yeah. Like MediaPipe. MNN, yeah. Angel, Executor, Llama, CCP. Yeah. So accelerating AI performance. Yeah, right. And this one is also very cool that you can just see that for right now we can support for multi model. It means that you the, your input is not only be text. You can just put in some picture, put in some sound, put in everything, and you just can analyze the, the PC that can know it and just to equacy and have more things. So here is some simple demo. You can just choose one picture and then send out. Or you can put, just put something, maybe I put high. Okay, here. Then you can find. It can analyze what the picture you have. It can know what this thing is. It's very special. You are not just input for the world. You can right now to have the picture for it. Yeah. Nice. Uh, maybe I can take one selfie. Yeah. I just. 
I just want to see if it's recognized me. I'm joking. But okay, so you go back to the ah, this app. one, this this one. Oh yeah. You can see there, here. And I just want to put it in there. And who is let's try. It's just gonna say some dude. Yeah. Right? Image holding a camera, taking photos, it takes vivo. Ah, that's because it's on the it's on my shirt. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You can so see very cool. You just take a picture yeah. and you can analyze you and just to see like, everything for you. Really cool. Babe. It doesn't say my name and how old I am. Uh, yeah. But he, but he don't know your name, but he can just analyze your picture or your picture and just and to the, show you something, you know. This all offline? Yeah, all what offline. Is, the same things I've seen that you can see here. Ah, just airplane mode. Uh, so it's all crazy. offline, yeah. It's crazy. Everything uh, right now you can M pull on the edge. And then uh, it's an, also a framework, or you can say this one is one of the machine learning things that from China. It's also the same thing I've seen from Kong. It's the same. All right. Uh, what is this phone? Ah, this phone is Vivo. Vivo. Yeah. With the uh, Qualcomm chips? Oh, no. It's from for MediaTek. Ah, chip. MediaTek. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. running on the MediaTek? Yeah. And this one? MediaTek Dimensity. Same? Same. Nice. So when the chip vendor is designing new SOC, yeah. they can do many things to make this better. Yeah, of course. Right now, we can speed up for the AI in the CPU. We also have a very powerful GPU. Now you can find just see something uh, our new technology yeah, for our new check GPU. This just yeah. after. Uh, there, there's so much more on the presentation I would like to ask about because, for example, VLC, there's something to do with a video. Yeah. Um, like here. Okay, what is the media pipe? What is the AQG torch? Ah, yeah. Media pipe. Media pipe is also a Google. It's a new AI framework that's for video. And for Ecruci Touch, Ecruci Touch and is David. There yeah. was also. Ecruci Touch is one thing about for, you can say that it's for inference version for PyTouch. So, very new one. Like includes, uh, we have PyTouch, and if you want something inference only PyTouch at the edge side, we will run for Eclipse Touch. CSS. Yeah, CSS. Uh, that is, was announced last year, right? And these right. chips, it was last Computex, right? Right. And now it's in, in the chip in the market? Yeah. So this chip, finally, it made by the MediaTek as the dimensity. Has the 925 very powerful? High performance? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's very, very powerful right now. It's the latest one I've seen already that announced public announcement like in the world right now. Yeah. Because MediaTek is such a cool company, Taiwan yeah. company. No. And <laughs> for many, many years, I always think MediaTek has a big market with a low price, a little bit yeah. low performance, but they also have high performance. But right now, I see all the things already change. MediaTek right now is very focused for something like a fake chip. Flagship, flagship. Uh, version, yeah. So I think right now the media chip, their CPU, their SOC is really, really powerful. And I think it's the worldwide uh, number one and can compete with the core. What I hope also is flagship, but affordable. So yeah, billion people can afford flagship, ah, yeah. you know? Right now I think the new technology is always going. And uh, in the future, maybe, maybe very, very soon that we can have this new technology in something like a low end chip or something. OpenCV Holiday. Yeah. What is this about? Ah, all of this one is, uh, I think, something about like, for the new things about AI framework, about the application. The graphic yeah. kind of AI stuff, maybe? Maybe, yeah. yeah. Right. All right. So are uh, you based in Taiwan? I, I'm based in Taiwan, right. So what is your job kind of about? You are connecting with the industry, connecting with the yeah. chip? Company uh, in Taiwan, actually, I support for the codex and it's some small IoT uh, IPs, and I also support like, security and AI in the Taiwan. So some of the things like a cloud AI support or something uh, related to AI uh, or something like the uh, NPU were support by me. Yeah. The whole industry is very interested to learn more, to be better with AI, uh, yeah. to do better implementation. I, I think for this time, especially this year, computers you can find where our logo is uh, AI next. Uh, a lot of guys just say the 2024 is the AI first generation. And in this 2025, right now, we are trying to, to lending for more AIs. So you can find that we can already run 
a uh, very fancy AI at the edge side that can run on our cell phone. I think maybe in the future we can also run this one in the endpoint side, like for all of our devices just near us. Maybe yeah. there's five billion phones, maybe seven billion phones in the yeah. world. Is it possible that the old phones will get this stuff also? Yeah. And uh, it will be just a, maybe a little bit slower version or is it possible that, you know, like maybe yeah. a new version of Android or new apps can just bring this also to older phones. I think this one can based on the technology enhancement not because you know right now the AI model all the things that we will try to run on the edge so we try to reduce for the AI model we try to make it smaller but we can still keep for the accuracy and we still can run it on our device even if just with the small memory and other things so <coughs> that we also try to have this one in all the edge device. And you mentioned IoT yeah there's so many smart cameras yeah. Uh, maybe like like this one, uh, like I don't know if it's part of your booth, but you know, like all these yeah. on the edge AI, AI stuff. Are you working with them to help them to make it better? Oh yeah, yeah. We have some things that for this one. Uh, some of our products, especially for IoT, we have our uh, Codex N and Plus on NPU, and we try to have something that for this one, like the new uh, on NPU IP, like the U85. We can already run transformer. Like in our NPU. So a lot of things around we also try to put it on the IoT side. Yeah. So it's a very exciting time yeah. in the in the industry, right? Yeah. I think our goal is try to make everything that can run in the edge side at the endpoint side. And I think we would like to have better AI performance for everything, especially in, in all of the ecosystem.